Thank you. That is always the most difficult part is to find the name. The work itself is just routine, and, and that's why we call it the extension in, in this case. In the Finnish side, we have met uh, with the Swedes a couple of times, and last time last summer, and we decided to do our homework. And we started uh, last spring and, and continued until the latter part of October and finished our picture what is happening in our side. And uh, we got a full common view between all the regions from Helsinki to Lapland, what parts of the railroad, how the side connections, etc., should be in order to to invest. And we had a good debate with our ministry and our minister about the topic. And uh, just to give some of the figures, I guess Olaf Jan already told the picture, which is very different in the Finnish side comparing to the Swedish side uh, in, in Finland. All the actual production is located north from Helsinki. So the Helsinki is in the southern periphery of Finland. In, and uh, the rail connection to north connects uh, most of the Finnish uh, transportation, which has to do with uh, uh, more developed products. In the eastern side of Finland, we have a lot of wood transportation, etc. cetera. Uh, we found that uh, uh, about the volumes, the uh, railroad is not that loaded as the one in the Swedish side. It's uh, oh, two or three million tons annually uh, from the, all of the lengths and a few million passengers annually, so not that huge lane. But the bigger amounts of transportation takes place between Oulu and Helsinki, and Helsinki and Tampere are the biggest passions uh, uh, cities in, in, in Finland. The cross connections, the most important ones are the Kvarken between Vasa and Umeå, and then in the north to the mining areas and the Russian connection in the north. These are the most important ones, and then in the south from Turku to Helsinki to, to Russia. So, as already mentioned, we found a common understanding on, on the Finnish side of, about the steps, what we need. Your minister talks so huge figures, how much you put to investments that, uh, that our ministers say that it's easy to decide what to do, then from where to find the financing. He didn't promise that active participation in financing. Therefore, the EU's decision to include the Swedish and the Finnish side to the extension of the existing priority corridor is of core interest from the Finnish side. Therefore, we hope that we can together make a proposal to European Union between Finland and Sweden and discuss with our southern neighbors that the uh, uh, extension of the priority corridors uh, should be decided in next summer in the decisions and be part of the more uh, uh, on the next period after 2021-22 decisions for the next decision of, of the priority corridors. And what, what I have heard so far today that, that has given me more trust that, that, that we have a common story to tell to the European Union, that the European Union needs north and the north needs connection to the European market, so the interest should be common. If you look at the transportation between the countries, uh, what would the improved rail connection uh, benefit? I would say that most of the benefits comes uh, in the northern part of the area between uh, Kemi, Torneo, Haparanda, and the northern Swedish industrial connections where there's a common ownership, so many, many plants, and that is of, of core uh, interest of us, and there we, therefore we hope that the double-track solution should be invested in the very early phase of, of, of this rebuilding the high-quality transport uh, uh, network. 
But if you look more to the future in the earlier presentation from the Norwegian side, Europe has to have more active uh, touch to the uh, very north, the political, military, transportation, economical interest in the very north is growing. And there are only two choices, to be actively a part of that or not to be. And I think that connecting north to the Europe and Europe to the north is part of this procedure and that we have a full support and hope that our ministers continue after their couple of meetings with a positive attitude this debate and we find a common solution. So this is my very brief presentation. Thank you.